Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Up, and today I'll be comparing iTwitter and Twitterific Premium. These are two $3.99 applications in the App Store, uh, which is mainly the main reason I am uh, comparing them, because they're of the same price and the same um, type of application, a Twitter application, um, that lets you obviously update your Twitter status, reply to people, see your DMs, and all that stuff. Now, you may think that you should get a, t a free Twitter application uh, such as TweetDeck as you see up there in the top right TweetDeck but um, really these uh, do blow TweetDeck away so because um, TweetDeck sometimes can get a little buggy and stuff and there's a lot of other things uh, that make it that make iTwitter and Twitter for premium a little different from this so I'll be showing you now uh, as you see up there that's the iTwitter right there I'm not sure if you can really see it too well but it does have push notifications as you can see I have 11 tweets and uh, over here is Twitterific Premium they have similar icons both the little uh, tweet bird so let's just go ahead and open them up and see the uh, launch times I have already put in my username and password for both of them so let's just go ahead and ready set go this has a loading screen this one doesn't so and this one looked like it loaded up faster. Uh, I'll just hit OK. And then there they are. Um, two different interfaces which show um, this one actually, as you just heard that, it uh, sent a little vibration and a sound when I got a new tweet. So this is actually Twitterific Premium over here and this is iTwitter. Now, one big thing that makes Twitterific Premium have a advantage over iTwitter is that Twitterific Premium actually updates by itself. Now iTwitter, I know it's a brand new application, but it does not update by itself. You actually have to hit this refresh button down here. If you can see that little refresh button right down there in the corner. So uh, that is a bad thing. Now if you go ahead and hit that, it'll say loading messages and you just heard a sound. There you go, I have two more mentions um, right there. So now let's just go ahead and go back. I'm, I'm just going to use iTwitter right now just to show you. And here's the front page you have. That's the front page of iTwitter. You have home, mentions, direct messages, favorite, nearby tweets, sent, and archive. And then you have search at the bottom. I'll just scroll down. Search. And then over here on Twitterific Premium, if you go back, this is what you have. Public timeline, BB's iPod touch up, quick search, nearby, and Twitterific. Then you have the trends. The trends yeah so uh, if you just go to BB's iPod touch help you just have this but it's actually different because if you press this little button down here it looks like a golf tee press that that's where you get your that's the at reply direct message favorites uh, what is that oh that's that's what I posted and then right here is to mark all tweets you can mark tweets so that's actually built in so you don't have to go through different pages like on iTwitter. Now that is a good thing. So uh, let's just go ahead and see what iTwitter has to offer. I'll, um, let's, let's go ahead and post something. Now down here you see this right here. That's the little post button. It's a little teeny thing. You just click that. And then you come up with something like this. Let me go ahead and raise this up a little. Well, I don't need to, but you see the interface. Let's go ahead and do it on this one too. What you press for this is the little circle down here, the little tweet button. Press that, and then there you go. Here's what the interfaces look like. Up here for Twitterific Premium, you have a camera button and a location button. And also down here, you have a I button, which shows you how much space you have left. Now over here on iTwitter, you have the contacts, location, and picture. So this has a little bit more and it also shows from whatever up there. So I'll just go ahead and post something on here real fast. Um, take it off the stand. Oops. Let's see. I'll just post something like, I'll just post this from iTwitter. At reply me now to be in my video exclamation point and then send and then it will send just go to home and you just heard a little noise 
when it sends. So I'll just go ahead and refresh. Load the messages. You just heard that little noise. And there it is right now, it shows up. Uh, it shows it up top. And it shows I do have 176 tweets that I did not mark as red yet. How you mark these as red is you just go down. Hold on, I'm trying to put this back on the stand, sorry. Is you just go down here to the little check check box right here and just hit hit it. Oops. And just hit mark all as red. There you go. Now this does have push notifications, but it only works for at replies and direct messages. So let's put that to the test. I'm gonna take it back to the home screen and see if anything pops up when I'm over here working with Twitterific Premium. Now, Twitterific Premium, I will post something as well. I will put at reply me to be in a video. And then I can add a picture or, or anything else up there. So let's just go ahead and hit send. Let's see how it acts. Again, this refreshes automatically. So there we go, new tweet posted. And then there you go, I can go all the way up to the recent tweet, and there it is. So that's cool that it refresh, auto refreshes. I really, really like that. That really makes me like Twitter Fit Premium better than iTwitter at, at the moment. But if iTwitter does step its game up with the uh, push notifications actually working, then I do believe that it will get way better. Now, down here, I can go back to sources. Uh, just go to this. I can go to my at replies. It will refresh automatically if I do have new ones, or I can just manually refresh from this little button right down here, if you see that right there, refresh. Let's see, did I get an at reply? I did not get an at reply. So, and then I can go to direct messages, obviously. So, um, and then public timeline. It's just, obviously, the public timeline of everybody, everybody's tweets, which changes like every second because there's so many people using Twitter. And then there you go. You heard it, make that little twitty, tweet noise, which is really cool. Quick search, obviously, just lets you search the whole Twitter nearby is your nearby people. Twitterific just opens up the uh, Twitterific app page. Fail. Right there. You just witnessed they fail. <laughs> oh, just vibrated and said 100 new tweets. So that that's just from people using Twitterific. That's, that's a pretty cool feature they added into there. Uh, people using Twitterific you could see. So that's that's pretty cool. Let me just go back to mine my account see if anybody left an at reply yet you will hear it so one new tweet let's see let's refresh looks like uh, nobody wants to be in a video <laughs> so uh, I Twitter again I will send myself an at reply so I could see this um, let's go back let's post a new tweet let's put at There we go. I just sent myself an at reply. Now let's see if I Twitter picks it up. You see it is posted. It is posted. Now let's see how long it takes I Twitter to actually pick this up. I don't believe it will pick it up because that's just I Twitter and it does not work properly. But I can go ahead and try to refresh the springboard, see if that will work. Refresh. It will not work uh, on push notifications no matter what I do. It could take probably forever and it won't even uh, do it. So, But I can go into iTwitter. Just open that up. Um, and then if I hit refresh and then just hit home and go out of it, you will see the push notifications pop up. 12 new tweets, it says up there. I don't know if you can read that, but it says 12 new tweets. Now let's uh, go ahead and open it up. 
and again it does not refresh big big downside so I'm gonna have to hit refresh down here manually and there you go you have some stuff up there um, I did get an at reply from Caleb Carter I tech so uh, let's just look at the um, let's just look at the basic layout on here on iTwitter you see it shows their full name up there at the top it shows their full name and then over here it just shows their screen name uh, which is which is basically what all Twitter applications have um, it also shows how long ago about one minute ago two minutes ago this one's actually a little bit smaller so you can see it better I actually like the interface of Twitterific premium a lot better because it is one screen one button and then you have all the options down here versus I uh, Twitter having a different screen oops different screen with all these different things you have to click I would rather just go be able to go in and just click on what I need to have and it's all right there just boom and it's all right there so that's really cool um, so again I'm going with Twitterific premium right now I mean push update is not even a factor in this because I Twitter basically just says just advertises uh, push notifications falsely um, they do not work good at all so I really do recommend uh, Twitterific premium right now again a better layout and just uh, things work easier really push notifications is not a big factor um, even though it would be nice I do get push notifications on my Blackberry for Twitter um, let me just go ahead and show you that right now see it right there I get push notifications all the time so um, that's why I really like it on Blackberry but that's a lot different from iPhone so that's pretty much it guys both 399 applications I would definitely go with Twitterific premium if you are debating just because they have the same exact features besides besides the uh, push notifications which are really irrelevant right now to uh, iTwitter since they are not since they do not work properly whatsoever now in a later update you may get the push notifications and then I may change my mind okay so but I'm just going with Twitterific premium right now um, good sounds better sounds than iTwitter and everything so that's pretty much it guys there's the icon for Twitterific premium oops right there and then there is the iTwitter thanks for watching guys and I will catch you guys later peace